Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You watch a high tide jet, ride the tide, and subscribe today. Just want to show you guys what the chain looks like. Not, it's not necessarily the sunniest day, but should be good enough. Day three of me wearing it. Pretty much haven't taken it off since I got it. That's how excited I was. This is what the chain looks like. I'm recording this on the DJI Pocket 3. So, quality isn't as good as the Sony in my original video. So if you're thinking about buying this chain, this is what, I mean, any video is not gonna be good enough. You have to see this in person. I know that sucks. Don't wanna hear that. But take my word for it. it has weight to it. I think it was like almost 52 grams, 14K, six millimeter, 20 inch from Hawaii rope chain. If you haven't seen my video when I unboxed it, go watch that. This is just something quick. I'm at the park, people looking at me probably. Well, this camera's real small, so they don't know what's going on. But yeah, I am gonna put a pendant on it. The pendant I plan on getting is about, with the bail, it's about two inches. With the actual pendant, it's about 1.5. The bail adds like half an inch. It's gonna be yellow gold, but the pen that I'm looking at is 10K. That's the only thing. Sorry, guys. But that's diamonds and stuff. I'm going to Zara because they have a sale. See if they have anything of my size that's worth buying. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. I'm out here. It's a Sunday. It's kind of cold in Florida. It's probably cold everywhere right now. Well, in many places right now. I won't say everywhere, but what is it? So it's, according to my car, it's 54 degrees in Orlando, which is, you know, it's bad for me. It might be good for other people. I know, like, I was watching the Kansas City Chiefs game. They were going against the Miami Dolphins. I think it was, like, negative 4 degrees, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, 54 is not that bad if you compare it to that. He clicked on his video because Hawaii rope chains. Yeah, like I said, if you haven't watched my last video, go watch it. It's, I don't even think it's four minutes long. It's really quick. I mean, it's just a chain at the end of the day. You, you are spending a lot of money, so it is good to watch videos. Buying chains online or jewelry online, just anything expensive online that you can't physically see. Yeah, especially when it comes to these chains because, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody has a jewelry store nearby where they live or a mall or whatever so you could go in there but sometimes like shopping for jewelry in person it could be like uncomfortable because first of all they're like overpriced and you just don't want to have to go back and forth on a good price second of all you know who knows where they got the chains from you don't have like a community of people online who can like analyze the chain and review it for you because, uh, yeah, most likely the stores that you're near uh, aren't like super popular online. They're just local stores. Unless you live in a big city, then you might, you know, be next to like a big time jewelry store that has a lot of reviews and maybe people online talking about it and stuff. But anyways, Hawaii rope chains. Like I said, I was uh, on, I purchased a Franco from Jacozzi like a couple years ago. But it's like I purchased a Franco and then I purchased the Trax NYC Hamza pendant like at the same time. So when they both showed up, the Franco was too big for the pendant that I bought. So I thought it was easier just to send back the chain and keep the pendant. And I just bought like a little hollow rope chain from the mall next to my house, which I mean, the chain is cool, it's just super light, it's 10K, but I never took it off, I've had it for like over two years already, the chain has been good to me, uh, but I just had a little bit of extra money, I wanted to upgrade, because I've always wanted a thicker chain, I decided to keep the rope chain look. Uh, I was going to order the Jacoji, but he didn't have it. I'm very impatient. So I, uh, yeah, I should have went that way. So yeah, 
kept seeing Hawaii rope chains when I was looking up rope chain because on YouTube I just typed it oh rope chain review da, da, da. I wasn't getting specific on where the rope chain was coming from as far as the store so then I kept seeing Hawaii rope chains and uh, I went on his website yeah it was cheaper I think like uh, like $500 cheaper than Jacoji's rope chain and it's the same size and it's also Peruvian but I think the reason why it's cheaper is because he's like a one man show pretty much he doesn't have like employees and I'm not sure if he has an office or like a jewelry store or what so it seems like you know all profits are going straight to him which hey shout out to him that's great for him it's great for us as a customer so right there I was like hey yeah and I think I used like a promo code got me like ten dollars off it was like somebody who reviewed his uh chain got like ten dollars off which hey ten dollars is ten dollars i will be doing another video when i get the pendant thinking about doing uh because i got uh, my logo done it's like a monogram so my uh, youtube is high tide jet so it's gonna be htj because i got a logo created on fiverr by this dude that I've worked with before, he's very professional, very quick. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get that turned into a pendant. But yeah, I'm most likely gonna do 10K. <sighs> with the diamonds. But no VBS or anything like that, I don't got money like that yet. So it'll be SI diamonds, so. I know people in the comments are gonna be like, you might as well get moist tonight. I should get moissanine, huh? On Amazon, they have like fake uh, Cuban chains. But I just wanted to get a fake one to see if, what size I like, so then eventually I'll buy a real one. So I ordered a 10 millimeter, 18 inch. I tried it on, 18 inches too short. I probably have to go 20. So I'm thinking 10 millimeter, 20 inch Miami Cuban. Most likely from Daniel Jewelry Inc. Seems like the man when it comes to that. I saw another guy, I think his name is Gus Villa, Gus Vija. He seems like pretty legit. Well, most likely Daniel Jewelry Inc. But that's probably, probably do that next year. I'm probably not gonna do that this year. Unless I just come up off some money somehow. Wow, I yawn so much that like my ears feel clogged up now. Hawaii rope chains. I'm gonna get my pendant, my logo, and then that'll probably be it for me as far as jewelry goes this year. Uh, yeah, that'll probably be it. I still have my Hamza pendant. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Contemplating on selling it, or maybe getting like a, a thicker rope chain that's actually solid. 14K, putting it on there. I don't know. I had to message Track NYC, Tracks NYC, to see what's the biggest rope chain that'll fit, and then I'll probably just order it from Hawaii Rope Chains. Another solid, uh, maybe like a three millimeter, 3.5. Pulling up to the spot. I'll at y'all. So this is it for this vlog. Got the chain out. When I had the chain outside of my hoodie, deep down, I'm like, dang, maybe I should have got a 22 inch. I'm not gonna lie. Or maybe the pendant will change that. We'll see. Anyways, it's raining. 
so I didn't have the camera out, but I did go to Zara. I bought quite a few things. There was a huge sale. It's funny because everything I bought, I think I bought one thing that was on sale. I bought like six things. Only one of them was actually on sale, so that's an L on my part. But a bunch of the stuff that was on sale just wasn't filling. Anyways, just wanted to wrap up the vlog now. I just got home. Uh, picked up a coffee. I ate some Mexican food earlier, so with the coffee, you already know what time it is. Anyways, appreciate y'all for watching more videos on the way. I, 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 oh, that's not how it goes. Anyways, more videos on the way. I appreciate y'all for watching. Eh, eh, eh. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.